five reasons why an RV park will deny your reservation. That's what we're talking about today, and the reasons might be a little more common than you anticipate. So stay tuned. Welcome back to the channel and thank you for joining me here today. Just because that RV park you're eyeing has a spot available doesn't mean they're gonna accept your reservation. We're giving you five examples today about why an RV park will deny a reservation. Let's go ahead and get into that list. Number one is your age. There are many RV parks, especially in the Southwest and in Florida, that are 55 and over RV parks. This means if you're 54 years old, they may not accept that reservation. And it really doesn't matter because they're protected legally to be allowed to only accept 55 and older people. And in fact, if they fall under that class of RV park, they have to have a certain percentage of their guests be 55 or older. Otherwise, they'll lose that designation. So if you're a younger RVer out there going to the Southwest or Florida, you better check first to see if that RV park allows people under 55 years old. The next one is the age of your RV. So not only do you have to be a certain age, but your RV must be a certain age. In this case, it's 10 years or newer. The 10 year rule means that an RV park won't allow a reservation for an RV older than 10 years. And that's pretty young. If you think about a 10 year old car, those are still looking good and working well on the road. So if your RV is 11 years old, it might not be able to stay at many of these RV parks that observe the 10 year rule. And this has a lot of controversy around it, but the fact is they're private owned campgrounds. They can create these rules as long as they apply them evenly across the board. There are ways around that RV 10 year rule. For instance, if you have a newly redone vintage camper, you might be allowed to stay there even though it's older than 10 years. But in many cases, there's no way around the 10 year rule and you might be just out of luck. In fact, that's why we love boondocking. If you love boondocking too, that means camping off grid. We got a map of the 21 best free campsites off grid in America from California over to the East Coast. The map is beautiful. You can print it up, hang it in your RV, hang it in your house. We always carry a copy with us. If you want access to this, we'll put a link in the description and in the comment section, free to download. Go ahead, click that link, get the free map, be well on your way to the best free camping experiences in America. Back to the list. The number three reason why an RV park might deny your reservation is because the breed of your dog. Some RV parks don't allow certain breeds to come within their campsite property. So this means usually a pit bull or a Doberman, very um, commonly aggressive dogs is how they define it. And a lot of times that's not even the specific rule of the RV park, but it gets handed down to them from their insurance policy. So there's really no way around it. If they wanna maintain their property insurance and their business insurance, they have to follow these rules. Now, not every RV park is like this, but many of them are. And it's very important if you do have even some sort of pit mix or some sort of Doberman mix that you make sure you'll be allowed to come into the park, you might be denied a reservation. The number four reason why your RV might be declined a reservation or even worse, told to leave immediately after showing up is if you have a leaky RV. This means even if your gray water is just dripping a little bit, worse still, if you're black water, I mean, that's the case you need to get <laughs> solved very quickly. But if your RV is leaking, if your motorized RV is leaking any fluids, oil, coolant, anything like that, you can be asked to leave very quickly or as soon as they notice it. So in those cases, your reservation will be denied after the fact, which would be even worse. Make sure your RV is not leaking, whether it's drivable or towable. There's lots of places that can leak that will be problematic and get your reservation canceled. So check your RV before you hit out on the road. And the last reason why your reservation may be denied is because you have too many vehicles with you or you have too many kids with you. So it's just a good rule of thumb to be very transparent upon making a reservation. Let them know exactly how many people are coming with you. And if you're bringing multiple vehicles, let them know that because a lot of RV parks have in the rules that you could only have two people per campsite, four people per campsite, one vehicle per campsite. And these rules are written right on their website, right on the reservation page usually. So it's your responsibility to know those rules and it's definitely your responsibility not to lie about it whenever you're making the reservation or even be proactive and ask about it because this is something that will fall back on you, the RV reservation maker, that you didn't read the rules or that you didn't bring it up to them and it's in the rule book and it might lead to your reservation being denied 
upon arrival, if you're transparent about it, hopefully at the point where you're trying to make the reservation, because the worst thing that can happen is showing up to a campsite and being denied your reservation whenever you're on property. Let me know if any of those things have ever happened to you or if I missed any reason that you can see an RV reservation might be denied. Thanks so much for watching today. We'll see you next time, later on.